I'm always up for learning new things, especially if it's in a game that I've invested a lot of time into. About 13 years now. Recently, I've been talking a lot about secrets in Wizard 101, whether they're not widely known by players or just people curious about what I have to say on the subject. So if you are interested, I recommend watching the other videos as well. Today though, like a little groundhog, I've poked my head out after doing a little digging, and I present to you what I've uncovered. Developer items. Like in any other online game, you usually have developer tools such as a free flowing camera and an auto kill switch. It only makes sense that you also have developer items as well. The first item I found was a something called the One Ring. And as you can see, it has a fuck ton of stats. It really and truly is the One Ring to rule them all. The, the, the Wizard 101 schools, I mean. Obviously, this ring is not fit for player use because look at it. Supposedly though, this item is used for testing purposes. I, I don't know what the fuck you're testing with all these stats. Are they trying to create an omnipotent enemy in the game? The next item I found was Vlad's Super Fast Jaguar. It seemed a lot more popular for Wizard 101 players because it was literally the second thing on Google Images when I searched up dev items. So in the game, the max speed for mounts is always 40%, and here, it seems developers get 100% of their walk speed from their mounts. I've always wondered if you can somehow crank up the speed of these mounts, you could crash into walls like the Tasmanian Devil. Now technically, these dev mounts are somewhat useless since players can zoom across the map using Cheat Engine, but it's nice seeing developers trying to keep up. It's, it's cute. I'm sure there will be more dev items for me to discover in the future, but for now this will have to do. Developer may cast spells. So in Wizard 101 you have pets, and in order to make them not useless, you go train them. Upon reaching certain pet levels, they get talents. In general, these talents can come in the form of raw damage, guaranteed spell cards, combat train talents, and the topic of this category, may cast spells. May casts are just spells a pet casts when they feel like it. The majority of May casts aren't overpowered in any way, however, like the developer items, we have pet talents such as May Cast Tempest. For this example, if you didn't know, Tempest is a hit all spell that racks up in damage depending on your pips. The reason why these aren't allowed for player use is because they can do a lot of damage that not even Flex Tape can fix. And also because they factor in player stats. So here's one thing that I found that was kind of weird. Apparently, King Zhao employees aren't allowed to show these pets in public because they haven't been released yet. Well, I mean, it, it's been 11 years now, so, and we still don't have it. I guess you just can't have any fun over at King Zhao. Scrapped area. As far as I know, this was the only area in the entire game that was scrapped, and I've covered this in a past video before, but I thought it'd be nice to mention it here briefly. In one of the worlds in Wizard 101 called Krakatopia, off in the dark void, you'll find a hidden area full of metal bars and a bunch of preschool shape matching puzzles. I'm not really sure why I was removed, but then again it was probably because at every corner of this world there were always puzzles leading up to a boss. This must be why the first thing you see when you make it here is just a triangular pyramid. It's a reminder that it's a puzzle world. Useless Companion Companions in most games, as you would expect, help you in some way. It's the same in Wizard 101, except they fuck off into the distance somewhere because they don't physically help you in battle. Instead, they give you stats in the form of raw damage, resistances, and a bunch of other stats. Now, there is one special case that I've recently learned of. There's a companion called Abbas, which should just be called Ass because it applies a negative 10% accuracy debuff on you. Luckily, most players never really discover this companion because they don't do side quests, and at least for me, I like to get the story done quickly, because I have more than one character. Alrighty, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you had any other secrets that you'd like to share, comment down below, I'd love to hear about them. I also have a Discord now where we sometimes just chat and relax. Oh, and we also have a Minecraft server too, if you're interested in that. Anyways, if you're new, subscribing is just a click away. I hope you take care, and I'll see you guys.